Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Let's discuss some uh, further trigonomic identities uh, and prove this useful one that's used a lot. Uh, cos 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And this is basically a way of getting this double angle out of there. So like this 2x out, so we only have, we're dealing with sine x. And it'll be easier to do, easier to uh, basically rearrange formulas and whatnot. So basically this is just a special case of the addition and subtraction uh, identity. And uh, that identity is basically the one where you have cosine, if you have x plus or minus y, then this just equals to uh, cosine x sine y. I mean uh, cosine x cos y. You can see this in my uh, other video. I have a proof of this one here. And this is just going to be minus plus. So if it's a plus, it's going to be minus on this. And this one is just sine, sine x sine y. So yeah, once again, you can see on the on the link below in the info of this video, you can see the link to the proof of this uh, this identity. And then basically, this is a special case where we have x equals to y. So when we set x equals to y, in this case, we'll just make y is equal to x. And then we'll have x plus, well, y, this is just going to be x. This equals to, this is cosine 2x, so just add together. Now this one here is just going to be equal to, well, cos x. This is going to be y, so it's going to be squared. Now, this is going to be a minus, because if it's a plus, it's, we're going to get a minus in the identity. You can see it in the proof. And this is going to be a sine, yeah, sine squared x. These are both x's. So now we're left with this one here. Then we use the other identity. You can see this also in the proof below. The one that's this is a really uh, common identity. You should memorize this one. Uh, cos squared x plus sine squared x equals to 1. So now we're just going to rearrange the cos x, cos squared x, just to get sine squared x only. And this is going to be equal to, uh, well, 1 minus sine squared x equals to cos squared x. And then we just plug this inside, and we're going to be left with cosine 2x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared x, which is this one here. So this is 1. This is right here. And then now we're going to just add these up. We get our identity. And then this just becomes cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, and there's our identity here. Well, so all for today, hopefully you'll learn. You can download these notes on the info below. And also you could see the uh, proof for this identity in the info below. And also this, uh, this identity here, the addition subtraction for cosine. Well, that's all for today. Uh, I did this video because it's uh, I use it a lot in, in my other videos and it's useful to know and it helps simplify uh, when you're doing derivatives or, or whatnot. Uh, and also just rearranging formulas. Well, that's all for today. Hope you learned and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.